only eight miles aloft, a jet plane races the moon's shadow across Canada. Astronaut Scott Carpenter is among the observers aboard the speeding plane, gathering both data and photographs. This rare spectacular is caused when the moon comes between the Earth and the sun, blotting out old Sol. To the ancients, this was a cause for superstitious alarm. Today, scientists know it means 100 seconds to gather important data. That is the time of the total eclipse. This base in Manitoba not only records visual, electronic, and photographic data, it also sends rockets aloft to study eclipse effects on top of the Earth's atmosphere. As the rockets take off to probe outer space during the phenomena, other scientists are making soundings of herring runs off the Atlantic coast. Thus, high in space and in the depths of the sea, researchers examine the mysteries of nature. There's no mystery about the next total eclipse in the U.S., however. It will be March 7th, 1970.